A giant whale accidentally swallowed the entire crew of fishermen while feeding. This action angered the king at that time. To punish the whale, the king ordered it to be bound to the sea surface with iron chains. Now, a hundred years have passed and the giant whale has grown into a small island. The endless torment makes it cry like rain every day. However, in this fateful world, a man named Mike passes through this sea area and decides to lend a helping hand to rescue the giant whale. This act violates the king's decree, and Mike is to face severe punishment in place of the whale. Mike, a farmer's son from the city, rescued a white horse from the lake a few days ago. However, the next day, the white horse turned into a talking donkey. In gratitude, the donkey brought two valuable horses and was willing to follow Mike. However, Mike isn't happy about this, as the chaos from the previous night left his farm in a mess, causing significant losses for the farmer. To make amends, Mike rides on the donkey and decides to use the two horses to exchange for some silver. As Mike enters the city gates, a crowd gathers, noticing the rare horses. Someone offers a high price to buy them, catching the king's attention, who desires to claim them for himself. Realizing he has no choice, Mike reluctantly complies. The donkey understands Mike's predicament, so it roars. Surprisingly, the two horses run back, and the king, in pursuit, accidentally crashes into a flower pile, covering himself in flour. The embarrassed king decides to make things difficult for Mike, ordering him to go after the troublemaker, the fire phoenix, in the oasis in the desert. Mike witnesses the fire phoenix eating nuts, and in a desperate move, throws medicated fruits into its mouth, causing it to fall into a lake. Mike successfully captures the fire phoenix, but out of pity, decides to release it. As a farewell gift, the fire phoenix flies into the sky, leaving a feather behind. However, when Mike returns to the royal city, he is empty, handed. King orders his execution, doubting Mike's claims of taming the fire phoenix. In a critical moment, the feather on the ground emits a red light and fire erupts from the sky. The fire phoenix responds to Mike's call, astonishing the crowd who praise him as a hero. The king, realizing the situation, hastily promotes and rewards Mike. The story then shifts to the whale, which, due to swallowing local fishermen, has been chained for a hundred years. The current king, having a grudge against Mike, decides to send him to eliminate the giant whale. When Mike sees the whale's pained expression and regretful tears, he feels compassion and decides to rescue it. Mounted on the donkey, he flies into the whale's nostril. Inside, they find a luminous interior resembling a galaxy in the night sky. The donkey swipes its wings, triggering a sneeze from the whale. Mike and the donkey are propelled out with the gush of water, and the whale spits out twenty-five human boats. It turns out that this sea area belonged to the whale, and it was imprisoned by the king for punishing trespassing fishermen. To express gratitude, the whale gives Mike a ring. As a token of thanks, Mike's hero status becomes even more solidified. However, the king refuses to acknowledge it, and sets up a challenge for Mike. The king arranges three boiling pots, stating that if Mike can enter each pot in sequence, he will recognize Mike's hero status and agree to marry the princess to him. Understanding the life-or-death test, Mike successfully survives the first two pots, using the ring from the whale and the fire phoenix. He passes the final pot with the help of a magical herb brought by the donkey. As Mike rises, the crowd cheers and he is crowned as the new king. Thus, Mike lives happily with the princess.